if you just got in here, the checkout is down here if you want to see what you need to check out. So what we're going to do this lesson is kind of, first time I saw this, I kind of got freaked out. But what I want to do is I want to test this new component that I built, the login component. But it, right now it's called CP login, right? So that's, that's kind of the tag that I need to put in somewhere. But in the current setup, we're not using the tag anywhere because we're just using uh, inside the app component, uh, sorry, the app module, we're just making a route that just points to the login component. It doesn't specify the tag anywhere like we did with the toolbar. Let me show you what I mean here. Inside the home component, we had the toolbar, so it was very easy to add a title from the outside, right? But now I want to add an error message from the outside, but I don't have anywhere in my code right now a toolbar uh, or, sorry, a login, right? What we're going to do is we're going to make what some call smart and dumb components. Now, this is a rather complex thing to get into. Um, but just think of it as um, we have one guy who takes care of the data and then we have one guy who presents the data. It means that we are going to get twice as many files here for actually handing the simple login view. So that's why I'm going to get you through this lesson and I hope you survive. Let's see what happens. So first of all, I need to go and create a new component. So I'm going to do that using the ng. Uh, CLI, the Angular CLI here, I want to go into the login folder before I do anything. So I'm jumping into the login folder. Ah, it's under source, it's under app, it's under login. So from here, I'm going to run that command. ng uh, generate and component, and let's call it login view, because this is just going to be the view of the login. It's not going to be the actual login component. It generates these components inside the login and it calls it login view. Now I don't want that layer of detail, so I'm just going to move them right away, one level out, so it's just one big folder here. We'll, later we'll make another level of details like the one you just saw, but right now I don't care for it, so I'll just remove all of this. I'll delete it, there we go, and we're gone. So now we have these four new components, right? Um, or sorry, four new classes for the login view component. Now it still might not make sense, but it will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the code from within here. So that's from the login component HTML, the old view, and I'm going to paste it all into the new login view component. Let me just zoom a bit here. So I just copied all the code from this guy that's empty now, and I pasted it all in here. Okay, that looks weird. But the reason is that now I can actually start manipulating the actual selector. So now I can start adding this CP login view right here as an actual selector up here. And why is that valuable? Because now I can start passing in information into this login view. It'll all make sense as we move forward. And this is the way I'm going to build the components from now on. So we're going to have a smart and a DOM component, and the DOM component is just going to be a view. I'm also going to grab all the CSS that we made so far inside the login and put it into the login view component. I'm also going to grab all the component relic, uh, relevant information which is just this right now, and I'm also going to put that inside the new component. There we go. We need the input field, meaning that I want to grab this input right here because I don't need that in here anymore in the old component, and I'm going to place that inside the new component as well. So pretty much all I've done is I've moved all the code from up here, which is the old login component, and moved it into this new component. Now the CSS is now empty, so I'll just delete that. I don't have anything to share between the different CSS areas. And it warns me that there's actually this is being used somewhere. Let's just delete it anyway. And go into the component and say, I do not need any style sheet for this component right now. So I'll just remove it. So inside the login component, the old one, I just removed all the CSS. Now there's only this left. Now why is this, why are we doing this? It's crazy. Why move it into a new component and have twice as many files? Are you mad? Uh, yes, I am, but that's not the point of it. The point is that now I actually have a tag I can start working with. And that means that now I can actually start specifying information for my error here. So since I have an input now inside my new component, and I'm using that as a tag in, in here in the old component, I can now by using the square brackets actually add um, an error here, the sign in error. And let's just put in a string here right now and say username 
and password was wrong. Something like that. Save it. Let me zoom out a second so you guys can see all of the code here. Let me just make this a new line. So it saves some space so you guys can actually read it. Notice there's only this component in here now in the view. I'll save it and let's see if everything works again. So I'm going back, the login view still works. I'm getting some errors here, let's look at those. Yeah, I faced that before as well because it still thinks it's inside the login view. There's something there with the CLI. What you have to do is pretty much just restart your server. So I'll do that, I'll restart the server and I'll just let it run again. Give it a few seconds. So it's back up and running. And what I'll do is I'll go to the sign in page and now you'll see the error message, right? So now I just passed it in from somewhere else. Now the reason that everything is still running is the login hasn't changed. That's still pointing to the login component. So the login, I have not changed that. It still points to this component right here. Now this component, this component right here uses the login component HTML file, right? The login component HTML file uses our new login view component and there it can now start working with the data. So that's how you make, this is now the smart component that will hand, handle all our data for this component. And this is our dumb component. That's pretty much just going to display the data and pass data back and forth between the view and uh, the component. Now we could discuss, should we make this? Would it, does it make sense that we have this input? Um, yes, if we want to reuse the component, it would still make sense because I would be able to reuse the entire login component in a completely different scenario later uh, where I start using different data and stuff like that. So it's kind of a, a facade into um, this component that I'm building here. So see you in the next lesson where we're going to make this even more powerful. Have fun.